there are, uh, as a, a course, you know, a path in life to take for, for uh, employment, this, you know, the, the drawing and painting and, and a creative endeavor is, is very viable. And especially with the schools in the area and around the nation trying to cut back on arts education, uh, uh, hopefully we'll we're doing what we can to take, take in, pull up the slack in, in that regard. But, uh, you know, I read a statistic uh, uh, somewhere that 30% of, of the jobs in the nation require our, our, our creative endeavors. So that includes artists and illustrators and graphic designers and authors and musicians that's, you know, three of ten jobs are, are in that creative pile of people. So, you know, this, this creativity here uh, uh, is, is something that we, we need to, you know, they, these are future inventors and illustrators and architects and, and uh, whatnot, so that's why. I started getting interested in art when I was very young. I was fascinated with shapes and shading and colors. And I just thought bringing them together created something wonderful. I don't think I would take it into a career. It is more of a pastime. I like to use like half the face, mostly because it's really hard to get them symmetrical, both sides. And I just think it looks cool when you do half the face. I just kind of want to put across time's valuable, you know, can lose it, so show the piece where it's going to break, and it's got to catch it, so really it's up for interpretation. When did you first start getting interested in art? Always been. Well, what kind of things do you like to do? Art-wise? Yeah. Uh, painting, portraits is mainly my thing. So this is a little different then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I usually don't come up with a lot of concept pieces, mostly just portraits and stuff like that. Uh, do you want to get in uh, any career-wise? Do you want to do something in the artwork? Uh, yeah, yeah, I want to be an art teacher. The the teachers, I, I believe, they send out notices, and as many of their students that can submit pieces, which are then brought to the art center, and and everything that arrives gets posted up on the walls, and that is judged. Uh, everything, everything that arrives is judged, and they pick the winners from that. And and you know, I, I also teach here, so I, I see some of those those kids in class, and I help them uh, with their drawing abilities. I like airplanes, and I like I like watching movies with airplanes, and I seen it in the geography book, so I just picked it. So this is pen all pencil. Yeah, it's a pencil, and I use like a shading utensil to, um, to like smear it in. What other kinds of things have you drawn? I've drawn tigers. I've drawn people I'm not really that good at. I like I use animals and like objects. Do you want a career in art? Mm, I want to be a vet. It's a uh, it's a drawing with colored pencils, and I I just wanted to make it kind of uh, abstract but also kind of blend the colors. I really like to blend colors with the type of pencils I have. And also just add shapes and things whenever it, it comes to certain scenarios. Um, this one didn't take very long. It took maybe, probably at the most, 40, like it's been in between maybe 25 to 40 minutes. And uh, I used just blue colored pencils and green colored pencils. And Instead of using regular pencil, I use black pencil to do the outlines. Uh, it was just supposed to be kind of like, you know, abstractish look at aliens. I got inspired by my sisters because um, I'm always trapped in my room because they're really, really annoying. So um, this, this represents my room. This represents me because I'm always trapped in my room from them. And um, I use black paint and a pencil. Have you done a lot of artwork? Uh, I haven't showed a lot of artwork, but yeah, I draw a lot. I don't paint that much often though.
you want to make a career out of it? Yeah, I would. I would like to make a career out of it. 